too. So you heard it here first, guys. Reviewing your dunks, subscriber dunks, is coming back and with a vengeance with Young Bar. What's good? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. We got Barth again. We talk about building muscle. He had a dunk session with Jordan Sutherland and Isaiah this week, and he gives us inside scoop. And guess what? Subscriber dunk reviews are back. If you watch this episode and share some energy with me, so I appreciate it and I love you, and I hope you can listen to this. This is on every uh, podcast platform you can possibly think of, and it's in high quality. With the audio and video, it's ridiculous. I give you so much energy. Just give me a little bit of back. I love you. Have a good one. Enjoy this. Learn. Keep growing. Dunk life, baby. Let's go. What's popping off, Barth? Let me tell you about the story I just had. First of all, do your golf intro for the Dunk Tip Tuesday. Welcome to Dunk Tip Tuesday. Do the, do go the golf. Go ahead. What you were just doing. Do my golf clap intro? Yeah. No, the, the golf introduction as oh. if we're teeing off. Oh, yes. Here we have Stephen Selly and Connor Barth at the tee, ready to spit bars for Dunk Tip Tuesday. Welcome back, folks. To episode 14. Have you seen all the episodes? Probably not. That's fine. <laughs> It's because he's already elite. This is for the people that need to learn and to get into the dunk life. Dunk Barth, by the way, is one of the best advocates for what the dunk life represents. I just want to put that out there. I'm a dunk life day oneer. He's a day for dunk life day oneer. And also, let me tell you what I tell. Just to get the, this is a exclusive for the listeners and the watchers, not a, behind the scenes. If you guys tune into this, sometimes you get behind the scenes. Sometimes you get nuggets that I would share with Barth, but I'm putting it public in the world. Ready? I'm ready. So you guys are inside on the joke. So I posted um, an Instagram post, me doing the one-hand dunk like Cassius Stanley in the dunk contest. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, well, actually all the time, I post the best content I could possibly post because that's how I like to create my art. That's how I like to post videos. That's how I like to use social media, the energy that you guys know about. You guys know well. That's what this video is about. It's all about the energy behind it. But sometimes you jump on the algorithms. You say, why not ride this wave? I didn't even know there was a dunk contest. I was way out of the loop, by the way. I tuned into. The, I didn't even know it was All Star Weekend. I didn't even know there was, a, there was going on. I tune in. I catch it. It was fun. And then I'm like, oh, this is a perfect time for me to just post something viral on Instagram. I'll post my one hand dunk, cause a controversy, get some engagement. So I said, who did it better, right? Cassius Stanley get his head by the rim. It's like no competition, right? So some people love to comment like, he did it better. And I want to be like this. How do you know? And the the inside joke with that is that no S, and I'm not even cursing. Look, I took out the word, the, the rest of that word, no S, because obviously he did it better. You're not catching on that it's engagement. So now I'm going to get, see how much I can squeeze out of you. You're going to comment again. So someone just did it. You can go to that post. It's me where it's 510. It's a yellow background. And I do a one hand dunk. Cassius is a one hand dunk. He goes, Cassius did it better. And I responded, how do you know, question mark? And he's going to comment again. I baited him. So I'm getting a double entendre comment out of the point of the post, which is engagement. So point being, to start this podcast and start this episode is when, the when you're trying to build energy, don't let anybody sway that energy. Just, just use it and just amplify it. Every chance you get, you can amplify it. Even if someone's being a little dangus and they're bringing me down. Am I getting frustrated because I can't talk as good as Cassia Stanley and I haven't made progress in my one foot jumping in a long time? Yeah. And guess what? That's fine. And now I'll let Connor Barth talk. <laughs> I was kind of curious actually what you, like he had posted that. And that was the first thing I thought was like, well, he knows this. So yeah. why did he do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what I like about behind the scenes is that I don't like, I don't always like engagement, but I do like uh, to see funny comments. So I I'm trying to just make the engagement about funny comments. And I like people that say funny stuff. They're like, the big oh Steven, you did it way better as just like you're just hyping me up. Those guys those Dude, there, those are the real lovers. There those was the something guys I, I did on love. TikTok that was like that. Like, oh no. I so Isaiah, Isaiah and all these guys, like my birthday was this Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. and, what? And yeah. Oh, I said happy birthday, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, I did. But um I forgot. It was so Isaiah ago. commented on like the post I did that day and he was like, Congrats on turning thirty. And <laughs> but I'm not turning thirty. <laughs> And so, yeah. like, they just started this train of people being like, you're 30, bro. That's crazy. You jumped so high for being 30. <laughs> and, like, even some of my clients messaged me and were like, dude, if I'm jumping like that when I'm 30, like, that's goals. And I was like, yeah. Dude, what's funny about that is how old are you, first of all? 28. 27? You're me. Yeah, you're like me. 
So what's funny is, first of all, you're closing. I was going to say, I, I thought you were a lot younger, like a, two years younger, but you're the same age. Um, we're closing in on 30 and we're definitely going to be flying at 30. So we're creeping into the realm of like, wow, instead of being like, there's a weird barrier I'm in right now. It's like, how come I'm not jumping higher than this if I've been training for so long? But then once I hit 30, it almost flips. Like, dude, this guy's 30 still flying? What's the deal? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know? I could jump like three fourths as high as I do, and people are like, damn, you're in your 30s and you can dunk still? Like, yeah. that's crazy. And I'm think to me, I'm thinking, like, if I'm not jumping higher at 34 than I am right now, I did something wrong. I know. I'm going to go to Remix's uh, boot camp exactly. and uh, see if I can siphon some of his blood. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What? So it's Dunk Tip Tuesday. This week, right now, someone listening to it today, the Ides of March, which was yesterday because we're posting this on Tuesday. So the Ides of March are yesterday. Today's Tuesday. You wake up Tuesday. What should a dunker do? What's something that you want to tell him right now? Go with your heart. Go with your gut. Tell him right now. Right when you wake up? Well, just like it's it's a Tuesday. They're watching this. It's Tuesday. They're like, gosh. I go to the bathroom. Tuesday, but I just, Whoa, all right. Because if you're not drinking enough water that you have to go to the bathroom when you wake up, you're probably not drinking enough water. There it is, folks. He threw he threw me for a loop, but he brought it back. Yep. Threw me for a loop, brought it back. That's Connor Barnes. An actual you, tip. Whoa. Ooh. All right. Sliding down the FaceTime. So let's see what mine would be. Mine would be right now the energy I'm in is, oh, I was saying this today, attention to detail. Because we talk a lot about mm. the goals, the long-term goals, but how many times? This is this is part of the dunk life. This is why I have you on again and I, again and again and again and again. Because how much do you think about dunking uh, when you're not in the gym? Um, <laughs> it's almost I, like I think, too, too easy. I think yeah, I think much. it's the other way around. I think it's how That's often exactly. do I not think about dunking? That's why I asked it that way because. That's what, how I want people to see their dunk training, is that it's always training, a.k.a. the dunk. And then the lifestyle. <laughs> I didn't want to just say dunk life. Yeah. Okay. But, so but I will say, like, yeah, like, like I, I, I think about dunking far more than I don't think about dunking. But, exactly. it, it, but it's like, obviously, it's just connections, right? Like, everything is connected. Like, hey, do I want to mm -hmm. have this pizza from Pizza Hut or do I want to have, like chicken and a salad and some fruit mm -hmm. or and that's like that's me thinking about dunking but not necessarily directly thinking about it and it's like hey do yes. i want to go play basketball tonight because these random people invited me or do i want to not do that and go lift and do the training i'm supposed to do like i'm thinking about dunk life and like it's 10 o'clock right. at night do i want to stay up and edit these extra posts or do i want to like actually get the sleep i need wake up earlier and not waste as much time during the day so that I can get more done, but still do the things I need to do for dunk life. Right. And then because I coach, then it's I'm still thinking about dunk life because it's like, how do I help <laughs> these people live their dunk life? Like, their dunk life, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what I wanted to talk about is that anytime you're not in the gym, anytime you're not actually dunking, or anytime you're not like doing something physical is more of the time you're spending in your life. And so if you really want to train properly... I, I suggest starting to build awareness around all those other details of your life because there's so much you're doing that and, – and then also how you do one thing is how you do everything. So if you're really diligent in the gym but you're not diligent with your sleep or your uh, – like you're saying, with your ac fun activities like you just want to go hoop or you're just what mm -hmm. you're eating, you're not going to be able to be as diligent in the gym and subconsciously you're not – as diligent because if you're super diligent with your diet you're going to train like super diligent as well yeah i would say that like if if you think you're really diligent in the gym but the rest of your life is a mess you're probably not as diligent as you think you are because right. it will that personality trait will kind of like spread out into everything you do in life um Definitely. but the same thing is okay maybe you're not that diligent in anything right now that's fine but start being diligent in one thing and that mentality will spread to the rest of your life as long as you stick with it. So. Yes. I, I totally agree. Now, I want to ask you this. You had a crazy dunk session this weekend. Can you talk about it? Yeah, or I can talk about like whatever an, you want. Uh, yeah. let's, tell me about it. Tell us who is there. Golden Bear showed up. The picks are filthy. Yeah, like yeah. The shirt. So, so Isaiah Rivera came. CJ Woo! came. Austin mm. Burke, he came. Justin, or Dang. Justin. Jordan Sutherland came. Uh, Golden Bear came to take pictures. Uh, Ball is life was there. Um, who else? You was listen, there? Th like it's crazy because th they're all our friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But think about that lineup and think about like what just happened and think about what this will th seem like in a few years. All those people together and the Golden Bear shooting. Yeah, it's just like it's epic. a bunch of goats all sitting around yeah. dunking. It's like it's basically you guys showed up to a freaking farm 
and you guys just oh fuck, Travis Dunks, or? Travis Dunks came. Travis Dunks, and and what's that cool about awesome. Travis is like like a lot of us have known Travis for like years now on the gram, like, right? Yeah, and like he's eighteen now. He started training when he was thirteen, and like now he's actually wow. getting to be like pretty yeah. good. And like he he started training for dunking before I started training for dunking, but I knew about wow. him. Wow. Yeah, but it just like that's really wild. Yeah, but he was younger, CJ, so like I, yeah, I think did Travis CJ dunk. Did CJ dunk? He did after. So CJ okay. uh, CJ filmed for like Isaiah, um, yeah. and for Ball's Life, and then he he dunked after a little bit. Same thing with it's going to be a Ball's Life session, right? Like yeah. a full yeah. So you video? yeah, so you won't see me posting it for a while, but it'll be out on Ball's Life whenever it's out on nice. Ball's Life. So that's super sick so tell us any highlights that you can share or like just you can do the I, essence you don't have to give i'll, I'll give you this so isaiah and i dunked pretty good jordan sutherland is literally on another <laughs> planet that guy is insane like 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 i'm a good dunker yeah sutherland is a god tier dunker <laughs> like we we jumped for three like three hours and it was one of those mm-hmm. and um like he was doing thrunks three hours into the session. I was literally g- about to die. Yeah. Like, how are you feeling insane. now? That was. I feel fine. Yesterday. Yeah, I have a lot of muscle soreness, but knees feel good. Yeah. Uh, ankles feel good. Um. Was it a full dunk day for you? Like you were prepped and ready for it, or was it kind of just like a day that you could dunk? This this was a full dunk day for me. I Beautiful. actually jumped really really high at the start of the session. Like I had a windmill with almost my back foot on the free throw line, um, wow. but I just didn't have hands, and that's fine. I don't honestly, it doesn't I mean, bug me that much. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we just we don't have hands. You only got legs. Yeah, and sometimes I have hands and not legs, so. <laughs> What do you do on those days? <laughs> I, I like make dunks that I shouldn't make, but my hand speed's so good that I make them anyway. That's so funny. So what would you prefer? Hands and no legs or no legs and hands? Um, you just said the <laughs> same thing like twice. This? Whatever, dude. You and, get it. <laughs> and, but yeah, I would prefer to just jump super high and yeah. not have hands. Because even so if I don't have hands, a good day. even if I don't have hands, I can still just bang the ball. And that is the sad. I mean, we already talked about this last week. Like bang power. Dunk, I just yeah. want to bang it. Yeah. Did you like the edit I made for us? By the yes, way? I did. <laughs> I, th- I think all my followers liked it too. That's awesome, dude. I want to, we're going to do that every week. We're gonna, that's the beauty of this part. We'll see what happens. That's definitely going to be a snip when we freaking say you got no hands. Um, do you want to know pictures re- you had? Yeah. Oh no, go ahead. I want to hear what you said. Okay. Random fun fact, I was looking at my TikTok and I have 25% of my followers of my 19,000 are women. Excuse me? Is that not weird? Am I, is it that, is weird. On Instagram, it's like is? 99.99% men, but on yeah. TikTok, it's a quarter of my followers are women. I wonder what that is. I think it's probably because the posts that you have no hands, they probably like. Mm, maybe. Maybe. What do you What do you really think that is? Why would that be? I want to check my stats I, now. I, I kind of think that like, I just think TikTok is more of like something that everyone gets on and just scrolls through and sees things. That you would be my Drake, guess. You know, Drake had a really powerful line in his latest song. I think it's called Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Mm. He had a really intelligent line that I really liked, which I've been feeling lately. I might have discussed this with you, which I definitely said on the podcast that no one really listened to. I don't want to say no one, but very few because when I post dunk stuff, thousands of views when i post stuff that i want to talk about that's not dunk related it gets very few views but anyway it was a good idea but and i wanted it out in the universe i don't even care if anybody listens it's just for me it's to express myself to get it out of my body because if i leave it in my body it's going to make into energy that i don't need um and what it was was that social media is becoming so saturated and so many people are trying to make things look good not just like show off i'm not saying show off i'm saying like marketed wise like worried so much about how well it resonates or what they're saying when and and they're so because it, it, it is a smart tactic right i definitely think like i was saying I, in the beginning of this podcast is i was trying to get engagement i think there's still a balance but i think people got so focused on the marketing pieces they mm-hmm. forgot about the content yeah like i think tiktok and, is yeah. more of that just genuine like here's a funny thing here you go and it's yes. not really marketed at anyone and like that's right. that's and actually if it's good content it goes up that's what i like about yeah. it yeah Most like instagram became like you can't really get this like, oh, post something funny and it'll get a ton of views right. and like go all over the place because 
it has to also be like formatted properly to be marketable right. and get engagement. Like I think that's so lame, but that is. I get it. That's there, how they but, make money, but yes, but I still think on Instagram, if your post is too ridiculous, it still goes viral. Like for example, somebody with no followers, if they had some crazy event happen to them, whether it's good or bad, it could go viral because people pick it up. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? What's crazy so is still... I feel like it's delayed sometimes. Like sometimes someone will post something and then months later it'll go viral because mm. like enough people saw it and it just pops up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my the thing what I was saying was I was the whole point of what I brought it up was I feel like we got too far away from just making good content and also just doing good things. Like for example, if you try to keep posting your stuff. Like for me, I can't really dunk right now. So instead of trying to make the best content, I'm working on myself physically. And then say in two years, I jump higher than ever. Now I have a video from like of a three year gap where I didn't make progress again, you know? Mm -hmm. And then that's a really impactful video. Whether it does well or not is besides the point, but it's it's how it literally changed my life. And it's like the story, right? Yeah. It's, it's like showing a big event. That is the whole reason I got into Instagram in the first place was literally just to track my progress. And it didn't, right. it and didn't have so much to do from. with like me wanting anyone to notice me. It's still really not like that. Like Instagram for me is a little more business-like, but I'm actually going to focus more on TikTok now because I want to do funny stuff. Like, yeah like i just uh, like doing stupid stuff this session right. actually had a lot of that <laughs> i can't oh, wait yes. to, for people to see it i just gotta drop the drake line because i brought it up and i don't want to oh, forget it do it which was so all of that nonsense i was just talking about that was about that disconnection was drake summed it up in one line where he says something about fame has been disconnected from excellence which i think sums it up great which is like tiktok is like people get famous quote unquote with a lot of followers but they don't have any value yep. like entertainment is fine like people say silly is not good silly is great entertainment is entertain i love comedy and stuff like that but some people get viral and then there's nothing there like yeah. they, people like, follow because it's they're getting followed yeah and and like it's interesting too because there's they're they're getting followers and like you know they're making money off of it too and it's their content might be kind of funny but it's not the same as like comedy like I don't right. know how to describe it exactly, but it really doesn't have much value in my yes, mind. It's, it's almost like it's it's like this guy does funny things instead of just is funny, meaning like they're like, oh, that is a funny act. Like if someone falls down, like say, for example, someone played a prank, right? But then it's like, okay, he's doing a prank, Like, but the prank doesn't work. But it's like, oh, he's doing a prank, so he's a pranks deserve follows you know yeah. what i mean like it doesn't it didn't even you know, work one of the things that really annoys me <laughs> this is just random and like kind of sidetracking now but like social those, media yeah, in general it's so fake i hate it so much mm. i hate the fakeness of it like like i would rather see someone's genuine personality than have to see them like fake things to like make drama or or like fake being funny like or yeah. or like script events like it's one thing if you're making like an actual like skit but like, there's lots of fake drama where people are like, "Oh, why?" It's like, like, look what's about to happen. Like, this person's yeah. about to, and it's like, it's so fake. Like, it is it's obviously dumb. a fake video that like something horrible happens, but it didn't actually happen. So you know what we do about it? This is what I do. You just you you be the good energy. I mean, that's all you that's can what we do. do. That's all you can do, baby. Um, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Seventeen minutes. What could we end it on? On a dunk. On a dunk note. Pay attention to details. Details. Um, what's your current status with your training? So dunk day went well. How did you recover from that? Um, well, today I haven't actually worked out yet. Like, just people Sleep don't know boy. this, but it's a little bit later at night right now. Uh, mm -hmm. But actually, as soon as we're done here, I am going straight to the gym. So to do, I am going to go squat. Dang! I'm gonna squat and I'm gonna deadlift. Heavy? Um, probably not as heavy as I normally would because the session was so long. But yeah. um, I'm going to try to go as heavy as I can comfortably, yeah. I got a question for you that, that I was talking about on my Instagram, so I think this will be timely. What has been helpful for you in terms of getting stronger versus gaining size? Or have you had a trouble gaining size or gaining size when you don't want to gain size, but you want to get stronger? I have not really had a problem gaining size. I also think that like people over think the size thing like like Definitely. like a lot of that has to do with how much you're eating too um but like 
if you're just lifting to get stronger, which is usually like lower rep ranges, but heavier weights, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't always have to be, but that's the general, um, like you're not going to put on just insane amounts of size, but you will gain right. muscle. You will get bigger, but that's not bad. And, and everyone kind of needs to like self-regulate again. This, everything becomes so personal. It's like some people gain size much quicker. So like if you are and it's making you jump lower, all right, maybe you don't want to gain size, but if you are getting stronger, you're gaining size and you're jumping higher and you feel better, you shouldn't care unless you right. really don't like that aesthetic and then that's something else like you have to pick what yes. you're training for. So I also yes, and I that leads so my point would be that there's different ways to train and I like what you said the lower rep ranges. I think that's the quick uh, answer I would give is that at some point, elite, elite levels, this is way down the line when you've gotten super strong and you've gotten jumping super high, at some point you need to get a little bigger to literally have more muscle to have produce more force. But yeah. that's way down the line. And then the other thing I was going to say is, and that there's different ways to do that, like higher reps and like stimulate more muscle breakdown yeah. and muscle damage. Yep. And I was also going to say, um, people need to just start doing it. They always want to yeah. know these questions. So, like you said, overthink that really stood out yeah. to me because people want to figure it out so much but if you that goes back to the social media thing if you start doing more and start focusing your energy on doing it instead of trying to look for the answers you're going to learn so much more you're going to grow mm -hmm. so much more from yeah. doing dude my, my speed advice for anyone who's trying to like jump higher is just stop thinking so hard and just start doing and yes and and like in terms of like all the different like there's like there's all these complicated systems you hear about of like all these different phasic systems and like don't worry about that just go to the gym do the lifts do, the basic lifts are fine. Do some stretching, get some recovery, eat correctly, like, and jump. Like, as long as you're tracking how you feel and you're not, like, pushing through horrible pains or, like, things like that, yeah. like, that's, that's enough. And if you do that correctly for long enough, because most people don't even stick with a basic thing for a long time, so you're not ready for the advanced thing, so chill out. Like, I'm Relax. literally, I'm still doing basic stuff because I'm yeah. not good enough at the basic stuff yet and i can jump that? as high which is how high what's your burp right now right now it's like a 44 44 that's a crazy elite and he's still doing basic stuff so connor what would be the craziest thing that could happen to you this week that you want to happen the craziest thing that could happen to me yeah out of the blue out of the blue 25 percent of my tiktok followers could message me <laughs> that's too many dude that's too many do the math <laughs> it's like like four and a half thousand? thousand yeah <laughs> oh my god okay and now if you could have if you could if you could send them okay pick a girl on instagram do you have a crush no instagram okay forget that what about if you could have a guest pod would you have your own podcast you know i've been thinking about it but i kind of like coming on yours okay maybe we'll just do that all right, I'm trying to think of other questions to ask you before we go. Let's see the co what's a common question you get, dunk related or not dunk related. Um, usually the question such, I get is, you get is it all genetics? Legs? Mm, is it? No. <laughs> Short answer is no. <laughs> so what is it? Skin? Well, here, here, this is an interesting question that I think, do you think a lot stretchy, of. Do you think stretchy skin helps? Hundred percent. Okay. If you think like your skin stretches and then you can stretch more and then if you stretch more, you're like a rubber band and like, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that genetics is like a thing for sure. Like if you're, if, if anyone's denying genetics, like you're stupid. Yeah. But I, I think it's overstated. I think that yeah. like, yes, I had good genetics, but I also jumped every day for 13 years and then I started lifting every day for three. Like I, I don't, it's a bad argument. And and how much of it is genetics versus like nurture or what do people say that like nature and nurture? Yeah, nature and nurture. Like I think it's much more to do with the nurture than mm. it does have to be with nature. As humans, we're extremely uh, adaptable people, mm -hmm. so like use it. But just realize it might take you ten years. <laughs> That's the problem. P people, yeah, yeah. Like genetic freaks will have a faster turnover of doing something. Genetic not so freakies will take longer, but can still do it. Got it. That's awesome. Uh, what's the nerdiest thing you did today? Today. Yeah. Or in, in I, I looked up those like blockchain um, 
images that are going around you know like people are like <laughs> i don't know okay it's like a cryptocurrency for like pictures and videos and they like they have like limited mm. runs of like videos and pictures and so mm. it's like it's almost like card collecting like sports card collecting okay. like for the nba it's called top shot and okay. it's kind of going viral right now and like people are making like literally millions off of it um beautiful but it just blows my mind because the things themselves are literally worth nothing like it's just an electronic yeah. thing you get and they just don't make they don't send it to anyone but you are you invested in bitcoin no i'm not i am and i left it from like two years ago so i'm just riding it yeah baby. dude i don't think it was a bad idea and like if, yeah. if you can you should do things like that but mm -hmm. it in the end it is gambling so like, yeah I, this is okay for quick investment advice what i do is i i have some in the safe some in the risk yeah. And you have fun. No. And yeah. that's how you if do you it. have enough in the safe, you can be a little risky. What's the what's the best noise you can make right now at a good level that we don't break eardrums? The best noise my, I can make? I can give you my What's yours? Dude, fucking killed it. I know. Wait, can I get the raindrop? Oh. Almost. Dang. All right. Well, any uh, what should we add to our podcast as we do this? What do you think we should add? That'd be cool. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to review dunks with you. So maybe next Ooh. week we'll review your dunks. Yeah, we should post to Instagram. Would you help me with that? Yeah, we could post to Instagram and have people. If send you can in do dunks. the video, you know what would be great? Listen, you guys are hearing a sneak peek. This is good stuff. If you can post, if you can do the logistical side of the posting, re reviewing people's dunks. Yeah, I'll do all this side. I'll do all the posting Deal. and I'll do all the and I'll do all the audio video. You do you help me. You look, you come next whatever day and come with the videos of people or whatever day we do this mm -hmm. and we'll review them together. Okay, so Can we do that now? <laughs> people's dunk videos. And we'll plan it next week. So you heard it here first guys, reviewing your dunk subscriber dunks is coming back and with a vengeance with Young Bar. I love it. That's exciting. You guys should be excited. Why are you not excited? They How are excited. excited. They you be? just can't hear them. I know. That's true. I love them. All right, buddy. Well, that was awesome. Thank you. Uh, signing off. What do you want to say? Um, no, that's it, dude. This is the best. I've said what I good life. to say. We're living a good life. Let's give some juice to them. Really good life. Hope you guys are living your best Get life. Me and Barth are killing it. We're living our dreams. I hope you guys are chasing your dreams. If you're not living your dreams, you could start right now. Even if it's uncarving patterns and uncarving a tree that you carve for years and years and years, start chipping away. Start doing it. Attention to detail. Do the things you want to do and just live your best life today right now. Dunk life.